Doug Nelson was raised in Meadville, Pennsylvania, birthplace of the zipper and home to channel lock tools. His father was a tool and die maker. That Nelson would become an engineer should come as no surprise. Becoming an entrepreneur, however, was not part of his original plan until he began working on his bioengineering senior design project in the medical simulation lab of Dr. Joseph Samosky on what would become the Body Explorer Automated Medical Simulation Project. So Body Explorer is a collection of technologies and have coalesced over time into a system. I started working on all of these individual projects and decided, we decided collectively, that that would be a great opportunity for starting my dissertation work in bioengineering is to combine all of these projects into one platform. One thing that I appreciate about Doug right away was that he was one of the top students in bioengineering senior design that year, in my experience. And he was also someone that had a really passionate interest in what he was doing. Phil Brooks, entrepreneur in residence at the Innovation Institute, helped mentor Nelson through the first gear commercialization program. He said Nelson's broad skill set makes him an ideal entrepreneur. So in a very short period of time, he built a portable case so we could actually move the, the device around easily from place to place to demonstrate it. So he just built that in his shop in his basement at home. He can do the computer coding. He does a fabulous job of engaging the people who are in the demo to actually participate in it because that's what you're really trying to do with the tools, given an educational experience. Somosky credits Nelson's natural leadership ability in his success in launching Loomis Corporation around the Body Explorer concept. Doug has a great sense of how to gain people to his cause. Where that really comes from is my roots in Meadville. My father was in tool and die and I got a, the opportunity to work in manufacturing and my father was also a coach uh, at the high school level. And one of the things that I got to see from my father was how to treat people with respect. In order to continue the development of the Body Explorer platform with clinical feedback, Dr. John O'Donnell from the Department of Nurse Anesthesiology joined the project team in 2015 when it was awarded funding through the Coulter Translational Partners Program. For the first time I met Doug, uh, he was doing some technical things kind of around the scene. I heard that he was presenting for Joe's Lab at the IMSH meeting. Essentially, I was stalking Doug uh, at the meeting to see exactly who this guy was and you know, how he had the chops uh, to present at the big international simulation meeting, and I was blown away by his ability. Nelson said his mission is not only to make Loomis Corporation a financial success, but to improve medical education. I really wanted to focus on um, taking this to the next level, taking Body Explorer out of the university, and if I wasn't going to do it, then it may not have gotten out of the university. We're getting to that point where we can build it into classroom instruction, and I think that's probably more the win, is getting the system out there and having it used and improving the education for the students. We have an opportunity now to be at the very cutting edge of the use of an augmented reality device to teach specific and tailorable medical skills so that our students can really benefit from it and then go on to use those skills and those learnings to make patient care better. Nelson said he is pleased to be part of a growing culture of innovation and entrepreneurship at Pitt. Speaking about culture that I've really noticed in my time here at Pitt, straight from undergraduate into my doctoral program, was this change in innovation and entrepreneurship culture at the university. Um, thinking back to the first time whenever we even talked about anything commercially related. I think it was right around the time that the Innovation Institute was becoming an institute, seeing the buzz around campus and working with the offices within the Innovation Institute. Um, even from the early days, whenever we were having discussions around uh, putting in patent applications to uh, most recent interactions with the office in executing the optioning agreement with Loomis for the Body Explorer technologies, seeing the vast change in the process over that time and the improvements that have been made have just been great.